Let's get you breaking updates coming in. ED heat on Surin. Uh, Times now has got the inside scoop. It's also suggesting that the enforcement directorate has made some fresh recoveries. The nature of these recoveries have not been revealed yet by the central agency and the enforcement directorate wants to confront Jharkhand chief minister with them. The enforcement directorate will also summon the alleged owner of the BMW SUV which was reportedly used by the Jharkhand chief minister Surin and his wife whenever they were in Delhi. So fresh details of the Enforcement Directorate recoveries. Uh, senior News Editor Bhavtosh Singh, who has been tracking the story closely, getting us the inside scoop. Bhavtosh, uh, details coming in that there have been recoveries. The central agency not revealing much about it, but sources suggesting that uh, Heman Surain was to be confronted with these new recoveries. Uh, yes, uh, Pratibha, it's now over 24 hours, in fact, uh, over 27 hours since uh, Jharkhand Chief Minister Hemant Surin left the capital and no uh, idea about his where, uh, whereabouts. Uh, last night around 10.30, 11, uh, ED team uh, officials left Shanti Niketan uh, with the BMW SUV, which uh, reportedly uh, Jharkhand Ch uh, Chief Minister and his wife uh, used to, uh, in fact, drive whenever they were in the capital. ED officials waited for nearly 12 to 14 hours uh, in, uh, in the capital in South Delhi, uh, waiting for uh, Hemant Surian to turn up uh, because they had made uh, certain recoveries, fresh inputs uh, with which they wanted to confront him in this case, but he did not turn up and uh, only a mail uh, that uh, was forwarded to them saying that he will be willing to appear uh, and also join the investigation in the LH land scam. Remember, the first summon this case was issued way back in August 2022 and then there was a bitter war of us between the Federal Probe Agency and the Jharkhand government and also between the Jharkhand CM and he joined the investigation only in January also after that uh, that questioning there was again a war of words between uh, Jharkhand government and enforcement directorate with Jharkhand police registering an FIR against the CRPF personnel what will happen next uh, only uh, the CM knows because uh, According to the enforcement directorate, they have no idea whether he will be joining the investigation on 31st of January. They have said that, yes, they have received the letter, but uh, they are still examining uh, it. Okay, all right. Now, sources also tell us that amidst the ongoing new political situation in the state, an important meeting of the ruling party MLAs has also been held at the chief minister's residence. Many MLAs from the ruling party are involved in this meeting. They were present for this meeting. Uh, the question being, what is the agenda that is being discussed in the meeting? Because that has not been revealed officially yet. But the information is that 33 to 34 MLAs from the ruling party are involved in the meeting and no one is ready to say anything openly about what the meeting is about. In fact, uh, Heman Surin, remember, is uh, nowhere to be seen. His whereabouts are not well known. All the MLAs of the ruling party are united. Instructions have been given out to all of these MLAs of the ruling party to remain in Ranchi till the 31st of January. My colleague Priyank Tripathi is joining us with the inside scoop on what's happening on the political front. Uh, well, Priyank, Heman Surin, nobody aware of his whereabouts, but there is a lot of hectic activity that's picking up in Ranchi with the MLAs allegedly being asked to remain in Ranchi with meetings as well taking place. Yes, uh, if you see the situation, it is unprecedented that the sitting chief minister's vehicles uh, are being seized uh, by the uh, federal probe agencies. So that clearly gives a picture that what could be uh, the future here in the state of Jharkhand. Uh, there was speculation that if there could be any action against Heman Swain by the enforcement directorate, suddenly he will hand over the chief minister's uh, portfolio to his wife. That was something which was discussed earlier. Uh, following which the uh, MLAs have been told to come here uh, in uh, Dachi, they have been told to camp here. Uh, while uh, the security outside the chief minister's residence remains to be the same, but there were very heavy deployment which was made here in the district cap uh, city capital of uh, Jharkhand, where the chief secretary had already taken stock of the situation. Uh, but the political parties uh, have been trying to put uh, the blame game on each other. There was a massive rally which happened yesterday, and you can see that right behind the CM's uh, residence, uh, the flags have been put in, uh, the protesters 
were chanting slogans against uh, the central government as well as the uh, the governor of uh, uh, the state of Jharkhand. The government has made it very clear that uh, these issues should not be politicized. But uh, what we are expecting tomorrow that once the questioning actually starts, if at all the Himan Suen comes back to the uh, state capital, then certainly there will be a heavy uh, protest which is expected to happen from the GMM side to show this uh, strength here on the ground. MLAs have been told to camp here. Let's see what is going to happen because so far the charter flight which was taken by Himan Suen to the state, uh, to uh, national capital, uh, still remains in the hangar of the IJ airport. Uh, we don't know exactly whether he's going to come back today, he's going to come back tomorrow, but uh, the summoning date uh, has been responded by the CMO's office where they have stated to the ED officials that CM will be joining the investigation at 1 p.m. on 31st of January 2024. Okay, Heman Suren has already skipped nine ED summons, a lot of political activity picking up in Ranchi as well. Speculations over what could happen next. Is there a political turmoil that's brewing in Jharkhand? Uh, we're keeping a track on that. Uh, Priyank, for the moment, thank you for joining us. But let's speak about what are the charges against Heman Suren uh, because remember he has written as well against him. So let's speak about the charges that the Jharkhand Chief Minister faces. The Enforcement Directorate is pursuing a motivated and political agenda. This is what the JMM has said against the Enforcement Directorate, saying that the uh, key motive of the Enforcement Directorate searches and summons being issued to the Jharkhand Chief Minister are to disrupt the state government's functioning. And the JMM has also said that there seems to be an insistence to record statement uh, which reeks of malice. And uh, the Jharkhand government and uh, Heman Surin in particular have also said that there are repeat summons that have been uh, given out, but these are vexatious, saying that the charges are defamatory to assassinate the character of the chief minister. But let's get you more political reactions that are coming in as well. In the latest uh, from the BJP, Nishikan Dube has attacked the Jharkhand chief minister saying his actions have shamed the entire state of Jharkhand. This is the chief minister of the state and he is missing and that has shamed the entire state. My colleague Aditi is joining us with that attack from the BJP. Well, Pradeva, the BJP has been saying as the Chief Minister of Jharkhand remains untraceable, the airports have been put on alert and the ED is just uh, asking for some questions. So why is the Chief Minister not ready to answer? This remains to be seen. While uh, the Chief Minister has assured that he will appear before uh, the ED on Jan 31st, that is tomorrow, the BJP, meanwhile, is saying that a missing Chief Minister is a shame to the entire Jharkhand state. And over here, we have Nishikan Dube also reacting to it. Nishikan Dube has put out a poster with the Pahli Bar Mukhya Mantri Lapata. So this is the first time that a chief minister of some state is missing and that's why they have put out posters now. And Nishikan Dube says, Aaj Jharkhand ke logo ka maan samman hamare Mukhya Mantri Heman Suryan ji ne Lapata ho kar mitti mein mila diya hai. This means that it is, it is an absolute shame that a chief minister of such a state is missing. Why is he not ready to answer the questions that the ED is asking? Remains to be seen. Okay. All right. Uh, so the attack coming in from Nishikan Dubey is that all the airports have been alerted regarding the same and the Jharkhand chief minister has shamed the entire state with his actions. Uh, Heman Surain has been summoned previously nine times by the enforcement directorate. He has not appeared before it. The BJP leader Nishikan Dubey saying that the Jharkhand chief minister's wife may take over his post. In fact, Nishikan Dubey added that Surain had called his supporters from JMM and other allied MLAs to be in Ranchi with their luggage and bags. That's the allegation that was made by the BJP leader. And the statement came after the Enforcement Directorate officials had visited Heman Surain's residence to question him in connection with the money laundering investigation in the alleged land fraud case. Uh, in fact, the Enforcement Directorate officials had waited there for over 13 hours and uh, Heman Surain was nowhere to be seen, after which an alert has now been given to the airports across the country uh, to be alerted on Heman Surain's whereabouts. In case Heman Surain is flying anywhere or is taking a flight, then the Enforcement Directorate officials would be alerted regarding the same. So Nishikan Dube saying that Heman Surain has called the JMM Congress and allied MLAs with luggage and bags. So locks expected. We're keeping a track of that. But let's